This is a Vertex Evo password and network default procedure. This procedure is valid for HID Global's Vertex Evo V1000 or V2000. First, loosen the four screws from the faceplate. Once all four screws have been loosened, remove the faceplate, exposing the circuit board underneath. Here you will see the debug header. The jumper is currently on pins 6 and 8. Going to remove the jumper for pins 6 and 8, apply power to the unit, and we will wait for the power LED to become green. The green LED during the boot cycle indicates the 30 second window during which the password and network settings can be defaulted. As you see, the unit's powered up now and we have the red LED. We'll have to wait for about a minute until the green LED becomes illuminated. When it switches from red to green, you may see flashing, it may just turn green, but we're waiting for a solid green LED. Now that the LED has turned solid red, we're going to take the jumper removed in the beginning of this video and place it on pins 3 and 5 of the debug header. Pins 3 and 5 are the center two pins on the top row of 8 pins. Once the jumper has been put in place, we'll want to wait for the end of the reset cycle and the LEDs indicating that the reset was successful. Five green flashes indicates that the reset was successful. Five red flashes indicates that the reset was unsuccessful. If unsuccessful, power down the device, power back up, and repeat the sequence. Once you've successfully reset the password, you can remove the jumper from pins 3 and 5 and replace it on pins 6 and 8. You'll need to power cycle the device. Once you power cycle and the reboot has completed, you should be able to log in with a username of admin and a blank or empty password field, and the network settings will be set to DHCP. You may now replace the faceplate. and your reset is complete.